Hello everyone, welcome to Ultimate Diecast. My name's Tyrone, and shall we go peg hunting? This isn't um, necessarily how you'd go peg hunting in Japan, the home of Tomika, or Tamika, whatever you say, from wherever you are. Uh, as I randomly fill up the desk with junk, <laughs> I'm eager to get these out of the out of the bubble wrap pouches and the bag because sadly that's how I've been storing my precious Tomica. Um, but now that I have storage capacity in the drawers behind me, um, I can populate the vacant spaces with these and others. Um, yeah, getting back to peg hunting. Um, by the way, this probably isn't a collector's most prized find, is it? Uh, very Japanese, the Suzuki Carry. Uh, we'll open up one or the other of these. Uh, mobile catering there. They like to go a bit silly. There's one with a huge hamburger on it and one with panda beers on the back. Not this model, but flatbed trucks. And not my cup of tea. Um, I like the street cars the best and we'll take a look at as many as possible in this video. But pursuant to the point, which is rare for me, um, yeah, I'm just itching to get these out of this dodgy way of holding them, storing them. Um, some are real, real pearls, including this one, a little Subaru BRZ, complete with opening parts. Oh, that's weird. Why is it weird? It's a right-hand drive, which is extremely normal for a Japanese car, for its local market at least. I'll just pull out all of these as we go, just to get rid of this hideous packaging. A little leopard there, some planes, I assembled these, as you can see, not very well. It's missing its tail. Um, a lot of these probably will never be available in uh, non-Japanese markets because they're military and um, you know, the obvious history with military in Japanese doesn't sit well yet with the rest of the world so maybe online you can get them. I love these taxis. Um, Tomica treats its local customer um, a lot different, differently to Mattel and pretty much actually every other brand out there. Uh, in Japan, if you're a Tomica fan, and there are many, you can just go into uh, any given outlet that sells Tomica and you can buy entire sets. You can buy as many duplicates as you like. For instance, do you want a fleet of taxis? Yes. And you just buy a fleet of taxis. And they're great. Who doesn't want a fleet of taxis? Do you want a fleet of police cars? Yes. Uh, doesn't stop at the main line. You can get the entire set of any thing. These are premiums. Um, I think it's 35 in the set of premiums from memory. Um, when I was in Tokyo, I bought all 35 from one shop so you know it's it's difficult as a as a collector of many brands same with the vintage uh, neo vintage etc you've got to know where, where to look for these not everywhere sells them in Japan but when you hit a gold mine boy do you hit a gold mine and you just pick them off as your bank <laughs> As your bank balance diminishes rapidly, obviously. They're not cheap, those ones. Um, these are second-hand ones I've picked up along the way. Um, had this baby as a kid. Um, and being a boy, I put it in the vice. So it was nice to replace it. Um, see, yeah, there are some pricey items here. And they've just been kept horribly in these... Uh, bubble wrap shreds. Um, another military one probably won't be available in 
any other market but Japan. Um, that's it there. Splendid looking piece. Obviously not in scale. It'd be massive if it was. Um, and love my emergency vehicles. That's the Nissan X Trail, I think. Terrific. Japanese on the side, of course. And the run of the mill. Little Mazda SUV. Oh, good to be rid of that bag. Splendid. So yeah, I'll just crowd out the table as we go and then we can do some real pig hunting. Um, what first? Hey, this one. Um, so that's noted in the camera shop. I'll pan up before I wreck the wonder wall. The high ace, I think it is. Um, ambulance up there. Always reminds me now, because I did buy that in Japan, I bought it in Australia. It always reminds me of Matchbox Man. He shows one of these on his opening shots for his videos. And I walked into Big W, which is Australia's version of Walmart, and I saw it, and I thought, I will probably never see that again. But it reminded me of Matchbox Man. He's on YouTube, check him out. Um, contrary to the name, he shows a heck of a lot of Tomica. Um, he's a big fan, as many of us are. And sorry, I don't know any delicate way of opening these. I don't care about packaging. I'm normally Bit of an animal when it comes to packaging around here so many of you are used to it but yeah i've been dying to get this one out of course you get to keep the box you see how they come um, in the local market of japan i much prefer this i don't like this i know why they did it because all the other brands have big flashy cards and I've got to have that visual presence in the shop. I know where they did it. I just have a not to like it. Hmm. That's weird. It's a huge slab of a door. Bit of detail on the upholstery in the back. And being a Tomica, everything closes as well as it opens. That's wonderfully accurate. To what you'll see in Tokyo. They're just the kookiest things. And I think they don't even need an emergency for the lights to be flashing. They just cruise around with the lights flashing. So <laughs> I don't know why nobody can bump into them. I don't know why. Um, the police as well, they'll cruise through the traffic. Um, should we open some cop cars? Of course we should. I've got this little, I'm not sure. How well you can see that maybe you can see it got this little wall of cop cars behind us there are several different varieties i'll open them all um, this is 105 of the um, main line i suppose you'd call it nissan gtr police car they've got a fantastic driver. another one where you know you walk into a atomica outlet in tokyo um, and I know it, it feels like I'm bragging, it probably seems like I'm bragging, but um, if you go to Tokyo as a collector, I mean as anyone, you'll never forget it. If you can ever find a way to be a tourist in Tokyo, you must do it. And if you're a collector of these tiny cars, and you must be because you're watching this video, do yourself a tremendous life favour. You'll be uh, gritting on the inside for the rest of your days if you manage to go to Tomica as uh, go, to, go to Tokyo as a Tomica collector. It's one of those moments. I went as a Matchbox car collector and came home as a true and tested Tomica collector. Um, many dollars down in the bank account because these exist. Um, Tomica Limited Vintage Neo. I love these really pedestrian cars. It's just wow. I've had this one out on the show, so I won't dwell on it much, he says. Um, 
bought this second hand from a retail shop. So paid the highest amount possible for it. <laughs> but come on, man. I wasn't going to leave that shop without this. Just wow. Stunning, stunning cars. Um, what else to show you? Really old stuff. The Subaru. Looks like a Fiat 500, doesn't it? But no, it's not. Isn't that cute? It's one of those stumble across items in the collection. <laughs> not, a, not a huge amount of detail there, but what do you want? That's a great little thing. Subaru 360 or Subaru. Again, depends where you're from. But fantastic. I've got a little Porsche here somewhere too. The box is a little worse for wear. Um, scale 1 to 59, so not quite. There yeah, it is. And I've got a few. Oh, uh, this one was actually bought the same night as the old. Uh, did it come in that colour the first time? Maybe. I don't think so, though. I don't think so. Maybe I got that in a different colour that night. But there are many now. Um, and I don't mind the old scuffed up ones. I bought a, a bag of these very recently. Um, just across town, just jumped in the car and picked it up. It was all very efficient. No waiting time, no postage, no worries. And I'll get to the other cop car in a second, but should we rifle through someone else's stuff? That's the, the coolest thing about buying old collections. You get to see how others um, lived and played with their collections. This is what got me in the car. I saw the photo and grainy photo. It looked like they'd taken it on one of those old <coughs> cameras with a rag over the head, you know. Um, dodgy as photo. But I got there and I saw this. And yep. I am the buyer. I'll get it in mint now, uh, sooner or later. I'll get it in mint. Um, Dodge Coronet Custom as a fire chief, missing its bits, don't care, and some really old Tomica, or really beat up Tomica. <laughs> um, love the look at this thing again, it's uh, seen better days, another Dodge, love it, and an old Majorette. It's got a few battle scars. Wonder Woman behind the wheel. What could go wrong of this Corgi? And old matchbox. I have uh, another one of these in a slightly different color and probably the same kind of condition. So seat warmer and a little trailer. It's a major red as well. That obviously came with some sort of canopy and a random set of logs with a weird amount of weight to them. I doubt that goes with that. But anyway, we'll shuffle those off to the side of the stage. I actually will keep that in there. I love the Cadillac. Yeah, if anything's going to get me on a road trip for a couple of hours on a Sunday it'll be something like that regardless of condition um, what cop car did we get out uh, oh this is the Nismo this is the other one to this one I think yep as promised yeah why wouldn't you get a fleet of these they're fantastic um, and we'll uh, rip open some more off the back wall how are we going for time Let's speed it up, people. Oh, look at this. 
I'll open the right door this time. Oh, I'm digging that. Let's hear that again. Perfect every time. The wheels, you know, a bit universal, aren't they, for Tomica? They should maybe look at more varieties of wheels, although that's got different ones. If this one had those wheels, I'd be happier, but fantastic nonetheless. Okay, let's open some more stuff. Um, there's a Lambo up here. There's, let's go for um, Lexus. Let's do the Subaru. I like the look of the Subaru. Impreza. Uh, scissors at the ready, kind of. Yeah, again, sorry about the opening. That's all I know, people. That's all I know. Gee, you'd freak if you if you walked into the dentist and you sat down in the chair and I walked in with an apron on, you'd freak, wouldn't you? <laughs> Oh no! Yeah! Oh, that's cool. See, that, that suits those wheels. Hmm. Should I have bothered? Probably not. But what a cute little thing. Made in Vietnam. As I think all Tomikas are now. They're not made in Japan anymore. Like this old clunker was. Kind of like Fleetwood Brougham. They never did get the uh, position of the steering wheel down pat, did they? But I love it. The blue one's even worse, I think. Uh, no, actually, that's about the same. I don't care. I don't care. I'm sure there was another. Oh, it is. It's in the drawer behind me. Uh, hang on. And we're back. Yeah, if I uh, had have hit the stop button and uploaded this to YouTube, I'd be kicking myself because the, uh, the prizes of my collection, the absolute treasures, um, would have been missed out. Ah, oh, I see where the confusion was. So I think I got that one the same night as that one in Tokyo, and then that one came at some other point. But that's better. Now I know where all my Cadillacs are. Ah, everybody can relax. There's an auto Cadillac. Um, you seem a bit far away now. There you go. And they're all Continental. And you might remember from a previous video, I got this one in a Roll the Dice video, kind of Roll the Dice video. Um, and a couple of these babies. Fabulous. Shuffleback people. Crowd control on the hop. Yeah, it makes me wonder how many colours of the Cadillac there are out there, and um, if they're all Tomica, because Yatming, uh, I think, shared the casting. And we've got the Jaguar and this baby. Look at that. Again, bought off the second hand market. That's what that one should look like. Where are you? Oops. Time isn't kind to everyone, is it? Huh. Glad to have them both. I really like them. And some older stuff in the main line, shall we say, Miss and Sylvia. And some really old stuff. An ugly duckling, as the French call that one. And uh, I think that was just the premium. Just the premium. Um, and the turbo Porsche. We having a good time. This is my good time place. Love it. And a couple of Rolls's, Rolls's, Rolls Royces. Because if the Queen rings up and says she's coming, you don't send one Rolls Royce to the airport, do you? Be able to corgi sit. You send three. So, varying states of condition, but that's okay. 
and some out there stuff, even for Tomica. Still looking for my Lamborghini Cheetah, the Humvee styled Lamborghini. And this one came in maybe a couple of months ago now. Fabulous. Unexpectedly a Mitsubishi. Who knew? Not I. Um, have I, oh, I was going to say, have I missed anything? Of course I've missed it, something. The old Land Cruiser with a very severe nudge bar on it. Who needs park assist when you've got that on the front? <laughs> you'll see it move. You get too close, you'll see it move. Doors open. Magic. And, uh, oh, there's a bunch of these. I thought I had one of these loose. But no, I have one of these in its open box. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. As soon as I saw these in the wild, in real life, in Tokyo, I had to have one. And I bought a whole fleet, obviously. So, as they'll scroll past the camera light credits. Childish man. This is like um, the roadside assist. I forget the official name. Uh, yeah, I forget. So cool. So I have a little fleet of those. Ah, I think that scratched the itch. For now, a bit of DIY pig hunting at my place. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> Yeah, it's great. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.